This is the EUSO War Falcon Z77, the aluminum plate version of the Eagle Z77. It is the cheapest hot swappable keyboard I could find on Amazon at just over $34. It features a brushed aluminum alloy plate, red Otemo switches, non-selectable RGB lighting with built-in modes, and a standard 10 keyless layout. It would have been better if the lighting was all the same color. I did originally intend to pull out all the switches, but after four of the five keys I pulled broke, I decided to focus on the stabilized keys and not mess with looping the switches. The switches had some very thin pins, and other MX style key switches will not work on this board without modification. It was a little more difficult to open as there was a screw underneath the Falcon symbol, which required a heat gun and a razor to get access to. After opening the board, I placed multiple layers of foam in the case to help dampen the keystrokes. After I screwed the plate back down, I removed all the stabilizers and clipped the spurs off the stabs. This allows for a flat stabilizer to hit a flat PCB and create a more stable feeling and sound. All the stabilizer cages were loose, so I band-aid modded the alloy plate and the PCB so the stabilizers would no longer rattle. There are other methods of doing this, namely using athletic tape, but I tend to do fringe cuts on a band-aid and peel a little bit of the paper off to make it easier to lift off later. And then I just cut off the fringe. Once you have these little strips, you can wrap it around the plate and place another piece on the PCB. Here's an example of the sound difference. This is a part of a video series I am doing where I decided to mod the best hot swappable keyboards under $100. This is the fifth hot swappable board in the series, and it is the cheapest by far. Other boards were chosen for their aesthetics, their value to cost, quality, and uniqueness. Although it is very inexpensive and does contain a sturdy aluminum plate, I cannot suggest it there are many other keyboards out there that will be better to save up for. If you are hard on your keyboard and either need parts or the whole thing to be replaceable, this may be for you. But for the enthusiast out there who would like to mod a keyboard and make it sound stellar, I suggest saving your money and getting a different board. If you have a chance, please check out the other boards in the playlist linked above. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more.